friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on November 20th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Volcano Activity Report, and as well, Planetary Positioning, week 46, 2022, we're closing in on 2023. We're going to look here at the positions of our planets right now in our solar system. We have Venus and Mercury on the other side of the Sun, and we are closing in on a close approach with Mars towards the end of December. I'm going to quickly put this into motion here for the next couple of weeks, show you what our Sun and our Earth is up to as we have Mercury coming around the Sun and as well Venus. And then towards the end of December, we will be making a very close approach to Mars. And again, all of our planets still hanging out in one corner of the solar system. Very close indeed. Quick glimpse here of us getting closer to Mars. Just a quick update on our solar system. But we're also showcasing here all of the active interrupting volcanoes across the planet it says 47 here but another one just awakened today quick look here at all of the active and erupting volcanoes across the world as we have 48 active and erupting and we've been up around this very high number of active volcanoes for the past year if not two years and we've had some of the strongest volcanic eruptions as well Let's give you a quick show here on the new volcano that has awakened San Miguel in El Salvador. Awakened here November 20th, 2022. So that is now 48 active and erupting across the planet. Quick look here at Google Earth at the structure of this very large volcano. It is pretty big. El Salvador, San Miguel. Very defined crater there. Looks like it has erupted. It has erupted in our most recent past. Volcano in El Salvador. San Miguel has awakened. And there's been quite a bit of activity through El Salvador, Guatemala, evident there of a recent eruption. Now let's get to the volcano discovery site and show you all of the active and erupting volcanoes as there are 48. We're going to start out here in Mexico with Popo Picadito. Santiaguito, Fuego, Masaya, and as well, Recon de la Veja. And as you can see, they have not updated the newly awakened volcano there through El Salvador. Talica showing signs of unrest. Down into South America now with Nevadas de Ruiz, as well, Reventador and Sangay. Peru here with Sabancaya and as well Fictitis was showing signs of unrest there a week ago. Down to Chile, Nevadas to Chilean. Copahue who's awakened on the 19th. So that's a couple that have awakened here in the last couple days overlooking Africa with Erta Ale. Down into central regions, near Miragira and Niragongo. And of course, Old Doño, Langai Volcano. Off the coast of Madagascar, Reunion Island, Piton de la Fornes. 
up into Italy, or the act of interrupting Stromboli and Etna. Heading across into Southeast Asia here, where we have the Barren Island volcano, Sumatra, Karinchi volcano, and as well Krakatoa. Seen a lot of activity around there recently. Merapi, Samaru, and as well Luatolo. Waiting for something else to awaken there. We've seen a lot of activity, seismicity-wise. Northern Indonesia here with Ibu and as well Dokono. Tao Volcano, Philippines. Up into Japan with Swiss and Ajima. And as well, Sekirajima. Volcano Islands, Bonin Islands. Newly awakened Ahai. And then we get to northern Russia, eastern Russia, Kamchatka. We've got a lot of volcanoes active there. Chikorotsky, Aleid, and Ebuko. And then Karamiski, Shivaluch, and Bezimiani. Overlooking the Aleutian Islands, active and erupting Great Sitkin, and Pavlov, both showing minor activity. And of course, Kilauea and Mauna Loa still showing signs of unrest. Papua New Guinea. Kadavor, Manam, Langila, and Bagana. Down into New Caledonia, Aoba, and Yasser. New Zealand, White Island Volcano, still showing signs of unrest. And of course, the Antarctic mighty Erubis, the 48th and final volcano that is erupting across the world. Give a quick show here all of all of the earthquakes across the world the last 24 hours. And as well, active and notable regions. Signatures there. want to thank you all for tuning in today i hope you enjoy the volcano activity report and as well a look at our planetary positions as we are now six weeks away from 2023 always we correlate the windy so2 three-day forecast having a look here over north america and as well the pacific ocean massive plume coming out of japan and russia Southeast Asia. Definitely going to have to keep an eye on things over the next little bit as we've seen seismic uptick over the last few days and as well a couple new volcanoes awakening, waiting for more as we've seen dramatic changes in the Southern Hemisphere from that large Hunga Tonga volcano eruption last year. Australia is seeing devastating and historic flooding. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody worldwide, especially those affected by the flooding in Australia and as well affected by the heavy snow squalls across the Northeast United States. Always in correlation here, look at Null School showing the SO2 particulates. Quite a bit of SO2 coming out of the New Madrid and as well Alberta. And Manitoba. Thanks for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the Volcanic Activity Report for week 46, 2022. 
and as well, planetary positionings. Thanks for watching. Much love and prayers for humanity. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. We'll see you for tonight's video now. Bye-bye. Please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.